Fire alarm's been beeping at us. That can mean only one thing. We have to change the batteries. That's not normally a problem, except the fire alarm is all the way up there. And up there is seriously up there. Don't take the batteries up with me. This is gonna be fun. I hate fire alarms at the best of times. What's the rock climber? Why are you just getting so weird about it? Just make sure it doesn't come down. Hopefully, that's fixed our alarm beeping continuously problem. So I wasn't just going to be sorting out fire alarms today. What I wanted to do was talk about tractors, electrically propelled tractors. John Deere have produced a prototype version, good for about 55 kilometers or four hours of running time. I think it's got a 130 kilowatt hour battery, peak power output of 300 kilowatts, which is okay. You know, it's like Tesla Model S levels, I guess. But I constantly hear people saying, well, four hours is no good if you've got a tractor because you know, farmers don't need to use them all the time, but when they do need to use them, they want them to run basically continuously. You can pretty much see that from the fact that tractors tend to rate their range, if you like, in terms of hours, because they don't go very quickly. It tends to be slow, heavy loads or quick, light loads, using about the same level of energy. So really, it's the length of time you can use the thing for that's the most important factor. But, and this is the interesting thing, the tractor that John Deere is using, as far as I can tell from the video, is not got a well-cooled battery particularly. It doesn't have a particularly punchy battery chemistry. In other words, with a bit of R&D and a bit of investment, I reckon using Tesla type batteries, they could easily treble the amount of power on board, keeping the weight more or less the same, which would enable them to run for up to 12 hours, which would be more than fine. The thing is, how do you get there? Because nobody's investing that kind of R&D in tractors at the moment, which is why I actually think it's pretty much exactly the same as the situation you find with EVs. You want something to help get the big manufacturers invested in the concept. And in this case, that would be a tractor that runs for four hours, which will be useful, not as your primary tractor, but as your secondary tractor that's quite cheap to use when you just need to move things around and it, the four hours maximum amount of time that you can use it for is not gonna be an issue. Then I think it's brilliant. It takes the workload off the other tractors. It reduces the fuel bill for the farmer. There are lots of positives. With these EV tractors, if we can just get the ball rolling, then I think, actually, it makes perfect sense having EV tractors. I think it's the way it's gotta go eventually. Farmers are very cost conscious. They also don't like things that break down. Well, EVs are reliable, very cheap to run. There are lots of positives, but in order to get there, we need that investment. And that is where finding something that will work at least for some of the use cases out there is, is a key starting point. I think electric vehicle planes are probably gonna work in quite a similar way. You know, they'll start out as sort of 20 minute, 30 minute endurance trainers, just for doing circuits around the airfield nice and cheaply and not running up huge servicing bills. And then they're going to get better. They're gonna get better and better and they're gonna find more and more innovative ways of saving weight and including more battery capacity, and eventually you'll wind up with fully functional aircraft running on nothing but electricity. So that's my prediction. I don't think it's gonna happen anytime massively soon, but I would say probably within five to 10 years, you're gonna see really compelling general purpose tractors on the marketplace, and aircraft too, most likely. So yeah, it's interesting. As regular viewers will know, this family is got somewhat of a tractor expert. Jasper loves tractors like nothing I've seen before. So he, he ought to know what he's talking about. When we get him from preschool, we'll find out what he thinks about electric tractors. Absolutely no idea what he's gonna say. Probably, Probably gonna blow me totally out the water and just go, no daddy, tractors need to be diesel. This is the interesting thing about this whole EV technology. It might take a little while to get going, but when it does, 
I think it's really going to be revolutionary. All it requires is just a foothold in a given market. And then over time, it can get there through the additional investment and in R&D that will go into that. But if it can't get a foothold, then it doesn't have anywhere to start. This is one of the reasons why I think it was such a massive shame that the EV1 got cancelled, because that would have been a foothold. It had plenty of people that thought it was a fantastic vehicle, but unfortunately, for political reasons, it wound up not lasting. This time, obviously, the cat is out the bag. So you're probably wondering where Jasper is. Yeah. Well, I picked him up from preschool, mm -hmm. and I asked him, what do you want to do now? And he said, go see Grandpa and Gigi. So I was like, <laughs> okay then. Are you sure you want to, you can go, we can go tomorrow, you can go to preschool and then we'll go. And he's like, nope, I'm going to go now. He said, okay, we pulled up. And he said, I don't want to get out of the car. <laughs> I'm going to stay in the car. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so he's currently chilling in the car. <laughs> Waiting to go to Grandpa and Gigi's. Waiting to go to Grandpa and Gigi's. So I suggest emergency coffee and departure. Okay. Excellent. Back on the road, just where I like to be. <laughs> Fantastic. We will ask Jasper about the electric tractors because he will know, but we might just have to wait a little while. We got there eventually. It took us two and a quarter hours, and that doesn't include the hour it took us to drive home so that I could check that the house was locked. Yes, I know, I'm an idiot, but I'm sure we've all done it. Jasper was a saint, thank goodness, and for the most part, asleep. Anyway, I'm now gonna plug the car in quickly because tomorrow we're heading on up north which means we want to start with a 90% charge and my parents charger not the quickest in fact I've got lots of charging to do I need to charge drone batteries cameras possibly even an electric skateboard very important question for Jasper as our resident tractor expert do you think electric tractors are going to be a big thing in the future there we go. Excellent. Well, I think that just about answers that question for anyone who's wondering. The expert has spoken. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's blog post. If you have, remember to like it and share it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next instalment of my daily vlog. Bye. They do need to be big. electric is good, Jasper? Yes, electric is good. Daddy has an electric car. Would you like to drive an electric tractor when you get older? No. No? I want to drive an electric car. <laughs> oh, perfect.